14th of September 2008, thousands of people who work in the city will take part in the first ever corporate cycling event on the streets of London. We hope to raise over a million pounds for the prostate cancer charity. Five years ago, I was diagnosed with terminal prostate cancer and given two years to live. So what was I supposed to do? After treatments in New York and London, there was nothing more to try. My consultant told me that the exercise would help me, so I started cycling everywhere. Around this time, I decided that I needed to help raise money to help fund research into prostate cancer and support for sufferers. I felt I couldn't have looked my family in the eye had I just done nothing. The more I cycled, the more my tests improved, so I just kept going. I've been from New York to France and Canterbury so far, but now we really need your support to raise funds to combat the most common cancer in men. It kills one man every hour. Hello, I'm Neil Fox and I really hope you can somehow support the Real Man Cycling Challenge 2008. My dad sadly died of prostate cancer, that's why I'm always passionately involved in trying to raise awareness and obviously money. And I'm even thinking of getting my big butt on a saddle as well. Please, we need support, we need money, we need sponsorship and we need people to get involved. Hello, I'm Paul Forster. I'm chairman of the Prostate Cancer Charity. In this last 12 months, we've committed in excess of three quarters of a million pounds into new, best of breed medical research. Our specialist helpline, which is free to all of the users of it, costs us about a third of a million pounds a year to run. I would bet that in excess of 70% of men in the city have little or no idea about what the prostate is, does or what are the risk factors associated with it. And that's in spite of the fact that one in 11 men in the city will actually be diagnosed with prostate cancer during their lifetimes. Let David inspire you like he's inspired everybody in the prostate cancer charity. That guy has raised over 400,000 pounds in the last three years through his cycling exploits. So please, do get behind us. As I've worked in the city for a long time, I know the culture of generosity that exists there. And we need to connect into that to make sure that this event is a success. Anyone who works for the corporate can take part. So if you think you can beat me in my team, then come on down, bring it on. I don't think you can. This is an excellent opportunity for men in the city to do something useful. Women are much better at mobilising to work on women's health issues. Breast cancer being obviously obvious one, walking around London in the middle of the night just wearing a bra and all that kind of thing. I'm not suggesting we do that, but men can do more for each other on issues like this. You can get on your bike or you can dig deep, or ideally you could do both. That's what I'll be doing. Since I started cycling, my blood tests have got better and better. In fact, they've been negative for the last two years. The Prostate Cancer Charity is an important organisation because it raises money to help fight the cancer that affects men most. So please join me in the Real Man Cycling Challenge to help that fight continue. The races are teams of four and will start and end at the XL Centre in London's Docklands. Anyone can join in.